Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another 4K action figure review on the McFarlane Toys Raw 10 Wave 1 Walmart exclusive Cygor, Battlesnake, Raptor, and Frenzy. If you're trying to get your regular McFarlane Toys action figures, you can do so at Bittery Big Bad Toy Store, proud sponsor of the Shardimus Prime YouTube channel. If you're trying to get your McFarlane Toys action figures, you can do so over there. Link in the description below. Now, now, again, these are Walmart exclusives uh, that are available to purchase starting on August, uh, I'm sorry, July 22nd, which was yesterday, and then they will be available to pick up in store on August 1st. And these are designed by Todd McFarlane himself. I don't know if all the artwork is Todd's. It looks like Todd's artwork to me, but I could be wrong about that. But yeah, these are fairly large cybernetic animals or uh, robotic animal warriors. That's what the acronym stands for. And each of them come with a little poster and a little pamphlet like this right over here, which is kind of cool. So uh, you can see this is the one for Raptar. And yeah, it looks like Todd McFarlane's artwork to me. Yeah, I, that's just kind of what I'm seeing, but I don't see his signature anywhere. And then when you open this up, you can see this cool poster image of Raptar running right over there. And then you can see it says Raptar at the bottom. It looks like, a, it almost looks like Transformer text, right? And then you can see the other characters from this wave. And then there's a read up and a little bio right there on Raptar. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then here is the Cygor pamphlet. You can see Cygor right over there. It looks awesome. And then you get the other characters. And then there's a read up and bio on Cygor. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Looking sick. And then we have the pamphlet for Battlesnake. I mean, wow, that looks very cool. Again, like all these lines and stuff like that really reminds me of Todd's art. And then looking at this image, I mean, come on, man. That hell looks like Todd McFarlane's artwork, doesn't it? No? Am I wrong? I don't know. I could be totally wrong over here. I mean, he's, he's been an inspiration to so many artists, and chances are if he hires somebody, they, they're probably going to have similar taste, right? So, anyway, and then here's the Frenzy poster, which looks cool. You get two Frenzies right here, a purple one and a blue one. Maybe they'll release a purple one in Wave 2. I'd hope to see brand new animals, though. I really like these designs a lot. I think they look very cool. There's a read-up on Frenzy right over there. So, there's all the packaging. Uh, you can see that they do stick out, you know, like... You know, if you see them on the shelf or anything, you could clearly see all the sculpted details and everything standing out from each of these. So, you know, they're open boxes, and then on the back, you get the same bios that we'd seen earlier. Nothing at the bottom. So, let's get to it and crack these things open while I bump this light over here. And let's start with Battlesnake. So, I got Battlesnake right over there, and this looks awesome. I really like the details that we're seeing throughout on these things. That is just incredible, man. Man, that is so freaking cool. Really dig that. That is sick. Wow. So this is all rubbery right over here. So it's like a rubbery snake toy. Oh, and these are all uh, suggested for ages six and up. And this video is for adult collectors. So I'm just going to say that legal reasons. Anyway, you can see, oh, let's get some light right here on the head sculpt and I'll turn down the exposure right here. But the tongue can actually come out of the mouth a little bit. So it starts right in there. You can see some nice paint detail on it and you just pull on the tongue and there you go. So that's neat. And then the jaw moves up and down. The articulation on all of these is quite limited. Uh, the teeth are a little on the spiky side, you know, they are teeth. So you definitely don't want younger kids playing with them, but man, this looks so dope. I love how this looks, man. I love that purple wash over everything. That looks really good. God, that is so sick. I dig that. Look at all that sculpted detail right there. That beautiful wash over the silver just looks amazing. Really dig it. I like how there's layers here. That, that's what I really dig about it. Then all these holes over here, it made me think, you know, that it would be a bendy wire inside there, but it's not. So, And these are pretty cheap, too. These are not expensive. They're, you know, just mostly cool-looking display pieces. So these smaller ones are 10 bucks. The larger ones are 20 bucks. Man, I really like the sculpted detail. And then there's, this guy's supposed to be like part Rattler, part uh, King Cobra. This is all soft and not sharp or anything, but it looks great. So that is very cool. Really dig that a lot. God, that detail right there. Dude, freaking awesome. All right, so let's take a look at Raptor. And, oh, 
and then that looks pretty cool now i gotta say this is my least favorite one just because you cannot get him facing forward you cannot get him into that running pose that we saw earlier so that that's a bit frustrating he does have articulation at the neck right here but turning him all the way around it's like he can face down and munch on food or something or maybe go this way and face down and munch on food like that nom, nom, nom. but this looks all weird it's all broken up from the back and everything and so if you had a pre-pose that was a little bit more you know workable so you could do just a little bit more stuff with it that would have been sweet so it looks like you can get him in that raptor versus uh battle snake pose more than anything but he does have jaw articulation these teeth are quite sharp but you can open his mouth up that high i like the paint detail right over there there the eyes look great the scales and everything Oh, I just love this stuff. It takes me back, you know, to the 80s, man. You know, like cybernetic animal warrior things. That's totally something out of the 80s. And then, or 90s too, you know. Nice wash over the skin right over here. I really dig this a lot. There's looking at the cybernetic patas. Looking good. That talon does not move. It's all gigantic and everything. You can move the thighs forward and back though. God, that looks sick. Dude, oh, I love the wash over this over stuff. And then you could rotate the tail right here, and then you could also rotate it right over there. So that's kind of neat. So dig that. Still looks cool. Uh, it's just, you know, he's kind of just stuck in the one pose, but not bad at all. I'm going to move him right over there, and then we'll take out Frenzy. And, oh, I wa actually also want to give you an idea of how large these are. Like, you know, this is the smaller one, Raptar, right here. Uh, just to measure Raptar out, you can see that he's standing, I guess, to the top of the head, about six, about six and a half inches tall. And for comparison, uh, we do have the, uh, what was it, the Stomp and Throw T-Rex, or Thrash and Throw T-Rex from Mattel. So I just want to give a size comparison with those two so you can see how large that is. I'll bring out Big Time Badass later on. Um, but yeah, moving on to Frenzy. I do want to look at this one. This is actually my favorite one, I think. I think. I really like this a lot. I don't know how, but McFarlane Toys just knows how to shark very well. I mean, look at Shark Shark right over here compared to Frenzy. I mean, both of them really good looking sharks, right? Man. But yeah, Frenzy has some incredible detail on him. I mean, look, dude, look at that. All the skin and everything. That just looks great, dude. Look at that. That is incredible. Eyes look really good. Love this dark purplish wash over the blue. Just looks great. Love the detail on the nose, the teeth and everything. Man. And then on the inside of the mouth, you can see how it's all ribbed and everything for the throat. That looks really good. I do wish there was a little bit more of a wash on the midsection right here, but I love all the sculpted detail in it still. It's just pretty awesome, man. What can I say? That is cool. I really dig this concept a lot. I wish there was just, I don't know, a little bit more articulation with these, you know, but still, this is very cool. This is very sharp and pointing right over here. I mean, it will bend, but yeah, you do want to be careful with that. Again, it says ages six and up. Probably recommend it, you know, not for the little kids. And everything man that is so sick and the teeth are kind of sharp and everything too so anyway the jaw does articulate and you get mid torso articulation so it twists like that and you can turn side to side you could also turn this side to side and then this one turns side to side so this one does have the most articulation out of all of them uh for how for for what it is anyway i feel like this is the coolest one i like this one a lot but it's kind of easy ear to articulate the shark shark or the frenzy so anyway let's move frenzy aside and get on to the very last one and we are getting into cygor which is the cybernetic gorilla and oh, 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 wow that is dope man wow yeah unparalleled universe you may want to pick this one up i don't know man I don't know. you really like gorillas you may like this one bro but yeah um Dude, this is just really sick. Look at the detail on the tongue. The tongue, I mean, maybe get a little bit closer right here. But you can see that it actually has like this textured detail on the tongue. The teeth are all painted out individually. Wow, that is so sick. And the, God, the cybernetic detail on this is just crazy. Damn, that is so awesome. I love it, man. It just looks so cool. This whole concept and everything. 
It's just so badass to me. Uh, me, my brother, and our friend Samurai Jack came up with a comic book series when we were younger, and uh, it was it's called Wild Pride, and it was like these cybernetic feline characters, and uh, the villains kind of looked like like we had one villain that does kind of remind me of Cygor. Anyway, uh, and then there was like a bat villain and an eagle villain, I think, or a bear, I think. But anyway, we each picked like an animal. But anyway, you can see this looks great right here with that fur all sculpted on there. Damn, the skin, the scarring on the belly and all that. Just looks really good, man. Leg right here. Look at all that, dude. So it's pretty hollow. It's not too heavy or anything. Even the bottom of the feet look dope. Wow. There's your gorilla butt. And like, can he fly and stuff? It looks like he could possibly fly. And is that a spawn logo? It looks like a hidden spawn logo, no? Ah, I see what you guys are doing over there. But yeah, that is very cool. Like this a lot, man. So these things are dope. Uh, I think they are very cool pieces. Not for everybody. You know, this may not hit the geek spot for you. You may have not have grown up in the same era of seeing stuff like this. Um, what is this? It kind of reminds me of Dino Riders a little bit. You know, you guys remember Dino Riders? I loved Dino Riders. But yeah, I think these are cool, man. I want to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section below. You should be able to find them at your Walmart tar uh, at your Walmart stores starting on August 1st, and they should be available right now to order online. Um, man, but yeah, these are sick. I mean, at the price point of 20 bucks for the larger ones and 10 bucks for these smaller ones, it would be kind of, if I saw these on the shelf, it, it would kind of be like a, uh, what, what do they call it? Like a sporadic purchase. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I, I think they, they look very cool. So I could see myself definitely swooping up on these. I'm very curious to see what they do with wave two. I want to know what you guys think. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. Leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Oh, wait! Big time badass Spider-Man. Sorry, I meant to show that off, but here. He's, like, right in the middle of all of them, and you can see how large the six-inch figure is amongst all of those. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. You'd easily have him getting eaten by the frenzy right over there. All right, you guys. Take care. I'll catch you later. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.